I'm live. And since I didn't prepare properly, nobody knows. Hopefully they'll get their emails now. And then we can start. Very, very sorry. I think I can edit this out later. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Who's to say? Um, there's a person. There's another person. Okay. Hi. Sorry about that. I was supposed to prep this last night, yesterday afternoon. Hi, Dina. Um, and I didn't do it. Um, everything falling to pieces a little bit. Um, ah, glad you found me. Um, let's see. Shall we start? How are you doing, Dina? Yeah, tomorrow's tomorrow's link today, except not yesterday. Hi, Carla. Yeah, sorry. Fell down on the job a little bit yesterday uh, in setting this up for today. Uh, and I'm sure I already had a, um, a note from my mom saying, where are you? Um, And indeed, here I am. All right, let us put some ink down. I'm bumping into all kinds of things. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, yesterday my my concentration shattered very, very early in the day, and never recovered. So uh, we'll see how we do today. Uh, there's a boycott Facebook thing going on today, so that's probably going to help. It's not going to keep me off of Twitter, um, which is not so great um, because I should be off of Twitter. But there's also genuine stuff on there at the moment that isn't yet in the news. There was um, a, a really interesting... Uh, thread from a person in Richmond. Oh, thank you. Uh, fairly old scarf, actually, that I just rarely wear. But thank you for noticing. Um, yeah, so there's a person from Richmond. Uh, similar situation to what I mentioned yesterday, where there's a person just sitting at home, and then... Um, Two kids came down the street being sort of driven out of the protest. And the uh, guy said, you know, come in, hang out, hang out with me. Hi, LM. Uh, and uh, said, you know, come in. And they hung out for a while. And then he's like, all right, let me, you know, let me drive you back to your car. Like, I don't want you to just walk back there right now. And uh, got him to the car. And then when he drove back to their car, and uh, when he drove back to his home, this is like all within a few minutes of his house, um, got stopped um, and got pulled out of the car by his cop by the cops at gunpoint, and then got stuck in a garage somewhere and uh, detained there overnight with about a hundred other people. Uh, yeah, and they, like, they zip-tied him to, to get him into the garage. And he's like, I live here, you know, I, this is, and they're like, yep, don't care. Put him in the garage. Um, they handed him, um, uh, what did they hand him? Um, they took his phone, um, and, uh, Grüß dich, Mom. All right, let me say hi to everybody real quick since I screwed up on setting setting up this, the stream today. Uh, Dina and Carla, I already said hi to you. Uh, LM, hello. Hi, April. Parm, hi. Grüß dich, Mom. Uh, glad you all found your way over here. Again, sorry, this was, this was me screwing up. Um, this we're going to set aside for a little bit where we'll deal with how dark this is down here later. 
right now. Let me put it here. Um, so yeah, so they had <clears throat> they they put them in to a garage with about a hundred other people. Uh, at some point, didn't uh, nobody got Miranda rights? Oh, hey, Nick Hearns player. Uh, nobody got read, read their Miranda rights. Um, nobody was officially charged or told why they were being arrested. Uh, Parm, yes, I will. Thank you. Um, and um, they just kept them in the garage. And uh, people started getting distressed. And at some point, the cops brought in uh, some water for people. But uh, apparently didn't loosen their restraints. Uh, and somebody said, uh, or put it out of reach, and somebody said, you know, how are we going to get to this water? And one of the female officers said, laughed and said, you'll figure something out. And eventually, after about, um, I guess, like 12 hours or something like that, um, people were finally brought to the police station and processed. And some people had actually had managed to call uh, bail bond organizations before the phones were taken away. And so the bail bonds, people were able to get a lot of them out. Um, and the whole thing seemed very, the, the photo, the images that came to my mind were the photos from Abu Ghraib, specifically, um, the idea of, oh, do you need water? Well, it's right over here. Oh, I'm sorry. We're on the other side of these bars. Hi, Katie. Hi, Dudester. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. A um, little frazzled. Nathan. Yes. Carla. Ugh, sorry. Um, and so that's all going on. And, and again, um, it reminded me, a friend of mine, who grew up under the Argentinian regime in, as you would imagine, Argentina, um, uh, sent this to me um, and sent the photo of a grave uh, of the person in the hood standing on a box with the electrodes. And he said, you know, what's coming is this like Abu Ghraib, but in Glendale. So, um, throughout the last few years, he's not been wrong yet. I was always like, you know, it's not going to be that bad. You're an alarmist. Don't, you know, don't freak out. But also as a German person, um, I'd rather sound the alarm too early than too late. Um, and I don't know about the frame rate and we'll get into the blots obviously, um, with more vigor, but, uh, yeah, it's, you know, if you follow me on Twitter, I've posted it there. If you follow me on Facebook, I posted it there. Um, it's, it was startling. And, um, yeah, and the next thing is going to be, yeah, people just, I mean, these, this is all, the, the way to look at it, I think, is always beta testing. How much can we get away with? At what point uh, will people riot? And if people do riot, what do we do about it? Um, so um, that's a real thing. Uh, Nathan, uh, I think with the frame rate, what happens sometimes is if there's a kind of a bandwidth shortage locally, that it um, it sort of dials itself down on the on the viewer end. So that may be what's happening there. Um, Hopefully, it'll also dial itself back up again, which will obviously be very nice. Uh, 
And April, I would not disagree with that at all. All right, um, I'm gonna see if I can refocus myself here on the task at hand. And uh, I obviously don't wanna shatter the oasis aspect of what we're doing here. But uh, yeah. Yeah, agreed. That's, I mean, that's, uh, that's a whole thing that's been mentioned uh, across the board. That, hang on. No, there was a sneeze coming. I just don't know when. Um, yeah, it's how is the response to we are fed up with police violence? The, you know, how can the response be, oh, here's a thought, more police violence. I mean, it just seems like the cops have collectively flipped their switch uh, this time, where it used to be kind of staggered. And in a way, I think that's good, because maybe that'll wake people up. Um, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend finding the highlights of the uh, L.A. County Police Commission hearing on Zoom yesterday. And uh, it is absolutely a self-inflicted thing. And yes, I've seen the Stanford Project and we're living it. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, this was Philip Zimbardo. Uh, and uh, they assigned, they took a group of students and created a prison scenario. And they assigned half the students to be inmates and half the students to be guards. And um, they had to stop the experiment after a few days and much earlier than expected because the students that were assigned to be guards became so vicious so quickly um, that they had to call a halt to the whole thing, which sort of, which teaches you a lot. So, um, And Carla, I think you're right about the color combination. Uh, let me see if this, if I can get this. Is it a focus thing where it's just, it's focused in the center? Yeah, all right. Well, this is a, what we in the business call a cheap ass camera. Oh, Nathan, this is still, you're still getting the buffering. Or the, um, the frame rate thing. Oh, sorry. So a little experiment, see if two classic monster stance models can exist side by side. Uh, and they can, apparently, look at that, fab. Um, by the way, one of my weirder um, experience on the lecture circuit is finding myself 
at a at an after party dancing next to Philip Zimbardo. <clears throat> Who knows how to cut a rug? Um, and exactly, and just in terms of uh, my mind, is that right? Is this part right? Hmm. Let me think about that. No, it's not. It's not right. It shouldn't have been there. Um, I'll take it out in a minute. It's going to be one of those things that's sort of hard to take out because this particular pen bleeds through the white like crazy. So I might actually cut it. We'll see. Um, just in my mind, I hope that Philip Zimbardo has a band called the Stanford Funk Experiment. And then when they play live concerts, he goes, I'm going to assign half of you to be funky and half of you to be groovy. And then they play some sort of, you know, jazz odyssey type thing. I don't know. Ah, you got to assign your, you got to, Got to sign yourself some entertainment sometimes. Punny, punny entertainment. Um. <laughs> I'll take groovy and funky because I'm greedy. Ooh, yeah, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> uh, all right. Though I feel grunky a lot of the time, and I think that's just... Uh, that's just how it is. And what opportunity is that, Carla? Um, I don't do. Why do I know the name Neil Postman? Sorry, there's a lot of threads to follow right now. Shoot, right this this moved. All right, let's see if we can do this. Shoot, 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 shoot. Eh, dang it. Okay, well. Ah, good enough, I'm going to say. I'm going to say good enough. Oh, yeah. And thank you, Parm. Sorry. Just haven't, haven't had a chance to stop here. It's not my, not my best patch, but we'll get there. All right. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Definitely solidarity. Uh. <sighs> Yeah, exactly. Which Nile Rogers wrote for um, the Sledge Sisters 
and he was hired to write for them. And uh, he talked with them, him, and um, what was his name? The bass player in, and his co-creator in Chic, uh, Niall Rogers, and... Well, just for that, somebody dropped off, I think. <laughs> Thank you for the dab reminder. Um, oh, good Lord. Nile Rogers and who was the other guy? Passed away a few years ago. Um, anyway, they wrote for the Sledge Sisters, and I guess what they would do with people they were hired to write for is they met with them talk to them about like what's important to you what do you you know what do you care about what's on your mind and they said that we are family more or less a you know a somewhat structured transcription of what they said i'm sorry nathan Oh, Neil Postman. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Did Natalia like him? Then I like him too. I fully trust Natalia on people. Um, Nathan, can you like log out and log back in maybe? I don't know. I'm sorry about the frame rate thing. Because I know how annoying that can be. It is Bernard, but it's Bernard Edwards is who it was. There you go. Thank you. Bernard Edwards. Okay, good. Glad we got that sorted. Um, Carl, I'm not sure. I mean, I think to, to some degree, everything is a statement about the current situation. But, uh, I don't know if this one in particular is. I'm still debating what the mouth position is going to be. So... Or the, the kind of the expression. So that might have something to do with it. But I think maybe it's just community. Uh, uh, 
Oh, interesting about the Neil Postman thing. Uh, uh, the letters for the electric company. Uh, basically like this. Um, just with a much, much better camera setup. But also just here in the living room. Um, and there was a little bit of, you know, there was a little bit of advanced planning on, uh, you know, because, because there had to be a, a particular end state to them. But, yeah, it was basically just like this. Those are fun to do. Um, and Karen Fowler, who's the executive producer on that, um, had a really cool eye for people before they were anything. So uh, my happiest thing was that one of the segments, one of the um, daily letter segments goes right into Lin-Manuel Miranda rapping about, I think, Silent E. So now, in some way, I'm tied to Lin-Manuel Miranda, which I'm very, very happy about. I think he raps about Silent E as a ninja. So should I ever be fortunate enough to meet the man? You can be damn sure that that is what I'll be bringing up. Damn sure. Yeah, in part, I have that same thing, for sure, for sure. Okay, well, that made a mess out of a thing that worked before, and now it's no longer working. Okay. Sigh. Thank you, LM. Let's see. So we had it before. It was good before. And then I tried to add teeth. And then it was no longer good. And now I'm just creating more of a mess. Um, okay. What to do? What to do? What to do? Ah. Uh, Um, I have to do it. This. A pizza delivery person just went by here. And I'm thinking, who orders pizza in the morning? But then I guess it is noon here, which is lunch for many. So fair enough. All right, there you go. Let's do this. Um,
Okay. All right. A very, uh, a very classic monster drawing. It would be neoclassical. I don't know. Don't know how that works. Oh no. Uh, yeah, I think that's true. I think that's really ultimately your only choice. Oh, well, I have the white out. I might as well pop a little bit on this patch here. Oh, I can see that. Oh, and I didn't put, hang on, last thing. <coughs> there it is. I knew it was lurking. Yeah, the full Petri has been a real, has been a real danger for me as well. Um, and it's easy, very, very easy indeed to go through a, uh, a pound of nuts in a day. Really not a problem at all. Well, I mean, this one sort of takes care of itself, doesn't it? Uh, Uh, see, that's my dark pen. So, that's not dark enough. Yeah. Ah, it's all coming undone. Uh -huh. Uh, what do we do about the relative darkness of these legs? Highlights, possibly, I suppose. Um, let's see, maybe. Well, gosh, that helps a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, um, I was considering that, Alan, but that we tried that the other day and it really looked crap. So I'm going to abstain from that. Um, just because of that. And just for that, I'm going to learn something for once. Um, yeah, you'd think that would work. Um, I did. I, mean, I was wrong. So wrong. Thank you, LM. Uh, 
Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, Trader Joe's is where I get my nut fix on. Hazelnuts at the moment and salted pecans. pencil. Turns out the 005 pen is just too damn small. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't tried the Thai cashews. I'm usually not a big cashew fan, but what's awesome for me is cashew milk. I really like. Come on. Why is this not happening? Okay, pretty good. Uh, really? I mean, what if they pick out any particular kind of nut? Because I used to pick out the cashews to get rid of them.
Huh? Yeah, that happens to me a fair amount. Huh. Yeah, the thing is, I also like peanuts, so I'm not. I don't care. But I get it. I'm always really upset when I get mixed nuts and it's just nothing but cashews. And I understand now from your, from the line of this discussion, that I guess that's like the ultra premium fancy, whatever. I just don't like it. I don't. I guess that's what you want. You know, like ultimately you want to find somebody who's I mean, obviously, presumably you want to find somebody who's willing to sacrifice something they actually care about for you. But then there's also something nice about like, oh, yeah, this is easy. Here, have, have all of the thing that I don't like that you love. And then it works, hopefully, in both ways. Pretty good. Uh, all right, well, there you go. I mean, that's... Uh, just any kind of chocolatey thing skews all of these, all of these tests, certainly. All right. Um... I'm thinking skittish woodland creature here, obviously. Maybe obviously. That's sort of a hippogriffish thing. I think that's smart. I think you want to, you know. Keep it loose in that way. Um, I, think it's a, I think it's a smart course of action. Uh, my first therapist. Um, had a subspecialty in treating uh, fetish pornography uh, performers. And I said, wow, I was like, is it easier for them? Because, you know, once you're, once you know that your particular thing in life is to be shrink wrapped in latex to the point where you're suffocating, then wouldn't it be fairly easy to just, like, wouldn't that just be your personals ad? It's like, oh, I, I need. That's the particular thing I need. Um, Carla, sure. Uh, I just have to sort of see where. Um, and so I said, well, you know, like, is it just a matter of then putting out an ad basically going like, right, I, you know, I need to be shrink wrapped in plastic. So if you get off on that, done. And he said, no, the problem is they need that. And then all the same stuff that everybody else needs, too. It's like, oh, are, are we voting for the same person? Do we like the same stuff? Do we like the same music? Um, you know, does this drive you crazy? Does that drive you crazy? Uh, so it just gets, I guess, exponentially harder. Go figure. 
Uh, Nathan, I am going to resist that urge. I understand the urge. I somewhat share it, um, but I've learned the hard way um, that in this situation, it will create a character that I no longer like as much. And so I'm going to respectfully decline. But I get it. I mean, I could absolutely sort of add buck teeth here or something like that. But I like the idea of a sort of startled woodland monster. Just a tiny little bit more. <sighs> Never enough for you, Carla, is it? Let's see if I can add a few. Uh, I guess we don't have that here anywhere. Like that I always like a I always like a day-to-day -day crossover story. Thank you, April. It's always very satisfying to draw the little starscapes. Happy to do it for you, Carla. Happy to do it. All right. I think that's it. There we go. Okay. So we have uh, monsters, monsters hanging and chatting. Oh, and the legs. Yes, I can absolutely discuss the legs on this one as well. Oh, with a little bit overexposure, maybe that immediately addresses it. Does it? Four of them. One, two, three, four. Index finger, by the way, just to be clear. Um, kind of, it's rocking back on its hooves. Uh, let's see if we can get close up. Uh, focus, 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 focus. There you go. There you are. I've gone blurry. It is a tail. Oh, yeah. Sorry, it was a tail. I was thinking about that possibly being like a leg up or something, but it ain't. Just a tail. Um, I'm going to blur myself more. I think it helps me. I think it makes me mysterious 
very slimming. Um, so thank you very much uh, for hanging out with me again. All right, all right, fine, fine, fine. Um, so again, here are two. Um, we'll do it again tomorrow. Ah, people talking without masks. Not social distancing. Bad is what this one is saying. All right. Uh, enough of this foolishness. Uh, there will be more foolishness tomorrow at 11.30, as per always. And uh, stay safe. Stay sane. And uh, see you again tomorrow. Be well. I can find the button. Every day. Where is the button?